Welcome back, y'all, to another outdoor day of rain and moisture. This is probably the most rain I've ever seen in the month of October here in Texas. For y'all that are on some of those rivers, Llano and LBJ Lake and Lake Travis area, Central Texas, basically, God bless y'all. I hope that uh, you're, you're not in that mess because it's just getting washed away. I would stop the rain today if I could. It's screwing up not just structural things, but the outdoor activities, y'all. It's making it tough. But as long as you got the right gear, you can get out in it. Ain't nothing gonna stop you. So I've been meaning to pick up a pistol of mine that's been ordered for a while, so we're gonna go do that. And then I gotta shop for some tree stands. I still have my boat hooked up. You ever, you ever get ready to leave the driveway and you're your boat or your trailer still hooked up? That's kind of an issue. Everybody's tired of you, Rain. Go away. Arrived here at the Modern Outfitters. I'm gonna go up here, pick up a little piece. Got me a little lunchbox here. Another day, another Glock. Picked up some tree climbing accessories. Had to make a Chick-fil-A stop. My mom, she's been feeling a little under the weather. So I wanted to bring her some Chick-fil-A. Uh, I got some for myself too. But. Got a little milkshake. Nothing a little milkshake and Chick-fil-A can't fix, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to do a little recon over here while I'm, while I'm here as well. She told me that the hogs came into the backyard again last night, so. It's kind of hard to tell though. It all looks like a big milkshake out there at this moment. Umbrella's coming to the merch store soon, you guys. Stay tuned. Make sure to do something nice for mama. If you still got a mama. They're good, they're good people. Moms are good people. It is still raining profusely. It's planning on going out in the woods, but I don't have that much daylight left. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a raging rapid down there. I did bring home some uh, some of my snack sticks. Some of my deer meat that I already got back, guys. It's so delicious. Like putting these on the boat, it's amazing. Eddie Ray Smokehouse, they did a fantabulous job. Jalapeno and cheese. Picked up some of those from LFD's house because he's got my deep freezer over there since I don't have room over here. I guess we'll go check on the girls, see what they're doing, and wait for the rain to stop, hopefully. I haven't even shown you guys this yet, but that's a massive piece of wood for another project. An update for everybody on Emmy's size. She's a 22 incher now, and I, I bet she's getting close to nine pounds. Yeah, she is. She's a. Uh... Eight and a half, or actually more than No, eight she was 8'10", eight, eight, and this was like probably four or five days ago, so mm -hmm. she's probably close to nine now. She's outgrowing her newborn size because she's getting so long. She's gonna be so tall. She's gonna be tall and skinny. She's gonna be taller than me. <laughs> All up in that sight fishing game. Moms are awesome. I'm gonna head down to my cave now. What am I supposed to do with this, y'all? What am I supposed to do with that? Like, no more grass, just dirt dirt coming out right behind the boat and everything is just mud. I've got me a tree stand I need to set up. I don't know if I'm going to have enough light to do it this evening, especially with the boggy conditions I'm going to have to walk through. I'm still trying to get this hog at night, but it's going to happen. I know it is. I've put in too much time. I've already got my big deer for the year. The fishing conditions are terrible, so I'm honed in on getting this thing done. This is all, <laughs> it's been on my bucket list for this hunting season for sure. Please rain, hold off. We'll see you guys in the morning. <sighs> Good morning. Mm. That's how you start the day right there. If you guys haven't checked out Free Range, sure to do it link in the description quality coffee for the outdoorsman and the outdoor lady little deer breakfast sausage and then we're already getting out tonight's special treats back straps and tenderloins of the white tail deer harvested with my good buddy outlaw last year who I believe might be coming in today you might see him before this video is over let's go do some things in the woods you look loaded down Extreme flooding. Extreme. All that land out there, that's where I normally see deer. In fact, 
one of my cameras is probably danger close to being underwater right now. Like this isn't even, we're usually about a hundred yards from the lake and it's right here. And I'm seeing way more deer foot traffic uh, in areas that I normally don't just because the water's so high. So I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get out here. And there we have, once again, the giant water moccasin perched on the tree on the log that I was about to go over. There he is. God, those suckers are mean. Mondo water moccasin right there. I can see uh, carp tailing. I'm baffled right now, to be honest with you. I really want to chop this thing's head off, but they're super aggressive and he's got a pretty high point right now. I guess I'll just leave him alone. I don't know. What would you do? Let me know in the comments. I always kind of think about that. I'm like, you know what? I'll let this guy go. And that's, trust me guys, that's not a water snake. That is 100% a, uh, a water moccasin. Or a cotton mouth as they're, they're commonly known. I always think like, if I don't chop one's head off this time, and I come back and uh, that one bites my dog or Stephanie or Emery, then how bad would I feel about that? That's a tough decision to make. I don't think you're actually supposed to kill them on this, this land, but anyway, I'm also seeing deer tracks where I'm, I normally never see them. The path I normally take to get back here is well on underwater. Where's Flair when you need him? Extreme duck hunting opportunities. I mean, this could be like weeks till this goes down. Wow. I've managed to wade my way into a thicket here. I'm basically just walking through the woods at this point, looking for any signs. See some rooting activity here. And I do see a few hog tracks. There's acorns, of course. I'm gonna check around this bottom area because it looks like it'd be awesome. Right, here we go. Now we got some serious, some serious rooting right here. This is good. Look at this tree right here. I don't know about y'all, but that looks like a perfect sign to set one up right here. I might end up hunting this tonight or early tomorrow morning. They're cracking those open and they're eating them. So there's tons of stuff to eat on the ground, which is good. Oh my gosh, wild turkeys. There's wild turkeys over there, y'all. <laughs> Just beyond that log. <laughs> there they go. Oh, there they go. They're gonna come through that thicket right there. Check this out. Look at them. There's two of them. There's one right there. Sometimes there's nothing like just exploring the woods, seeing all God's creatures at play. Y'all just take a little gander at this. What in the daggum world? I mean, what kind of species? What are we talking about here? Because that is uh, something I'm unfamiliar with. It's huge. Look at that. Look at the deck. Oh my gosh, man. You gotta come look at this. What? You just gotta see it. What is it? You just, you gotta Maybe see. It's like a creature or something? There might be a creature. Why don't you go to the bottom of the steps and uh, tell me what you see. Is something gonna come out and bite me? Just go down there to the last step. Go take a gander. <laughs> That's nasty looking. That looks like the hungry caterpillar that I read in like child book. It looks like the ones off of the Lion King where uh, Pumbaa would just huge. crush. It's very alive. It's very alive. It's very alive and juicy. That could turn into a... It looks like an accordion. It's very big. <laughs> if you know what that is, please let us know. Also, sad update. Honey, you might have noticed the pumpkins are missing. I know, the pumpkins. The pumpkins rotted and fruit flies got in them. Ooh! Oh yeah! <laughs> Well, look who has made it to the daggum tree house. It's 
Uncle Outlaw and Aunt Steph. Oh, hey guys. We made hey. it to the tree house. We have made it. Look at them. Oh, gosh dang, fishing freaks. I miss y'all, <laughs> dude. Oh. oh. The rig, it's just got a few little, little, uh, little danglers on it since the last yeah. time I saw Come it, on, man. Yeah, just a couple. Woo! Hey, check this out, man. You, you want to see something cool? How about this? Tour life. This is uh, when you pay somebody to do stuff for you, this is the kind of work you get. Wow, when did you notice that? I think a day after I got it done. <laughs> Your weather strikes on you. Gotcha. Oh, how about that? Oh, you wouldn't know this was yeah. a brand new truck. <laughs> literally do have danglers. It's only got like 5,000 miles on the thing. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just like to, I like to get a little practice uh, in. A little practice. I'm ready to hunt, dude. You I got, got the cooler meat. For meat. We got the bow back here. We're ready to go, bro. You side it in? You side it in, I hope. You got a target? Yeah, <laughs> I got plenty of trees out here you can shoot. Cool. I've really been wanting to go film a hunt. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. Man, possibly doing some hunting as well, myself. But we're definitely gonna be uh, roaming around in the woods. Outlaw, outlaw and I. And tonight, what are we gonna be doing? Oh yeah, y'all hear the sizzle? Listen to this. Woo Don't talk over the sizzle. <laughs> Look at that, baby. A little special occasion with the outlaws here. We're doing some back straps and some bacon wrapped tenderloins. So I think that's how we're gonna send y'all off right here with some deliciousness. What did you say today? More uh, more gains from wild game equals wild gains. That's ah. it right there. If y'all wanna tune in for this week's events with Outlaw here, us running around, do some crazy adventures. Y'all know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel. Watch out for danger noodles while you're out there fishing freaks. They're all up in the woods right now with all this danger rain. It's noodle, crazy. Danger noodle. <laughs> Watch out. He's been watching the stories. Oh, and y'all, make sure to go check out the new Make Every Gas Count shirts available in the description. They are tasty and fresh just for you. You know what, Outlaw? You know what's crazy? Me and you harvested this meat together. Oh, this is the dough. This is the dough. This is the Indiana dough. Yes, we were hey, together did you ever for this. Us, did you ever tell the story how you got this meat? <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. That's way too long. That's a what's whole other video. <laughs> that's a whole other video. That's Jerry. Jerry. Jerry that. delivering the meat down. We harvested this meat together. It was the last thing I did for my brain surgery, so it's kind of crazy. Now it's sitting here on this grill, about to be delicious on our mouths. Man, that was so, a good shot with that hypodermic too, bro. I'm Hypo scared, That was some of that hypodermic action, yeah, man. Buddy. Hey, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Thanks for coming along for today's video. We'll see you right here on the next one with some outlaw hunts in the woods. In the mother trucking woods. Welcome to the mother trucking woods. Thank the Lord for my home. Welcome to the mother trucking backwoods, boy. Southern ground. Welcome to the mother trucking pool.